tank.co.uk. So look, if uh, I'm going to crack straight on with this live broadcast today, but just being quick here, if you'd like to see loads more videos like this, all right, free information, free advice, just go to septic tank tv that's pretty simple isn't it septic tank tv and you'll find hundreds and hundreds of free videos that i've made live broadcasts like this etc etc to really help you fix and solve your septic tank problems for free how about that eh? well today we're going to be looking at something that's very very topical uh, very, very popular, and that is this, right? Selling a house with a septic <coughs> tank. And um, if you've got a house, if you own a house, own a property, and it's got a septic tank, and this video is very important. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save thousands of pounds, literally. I kid you not, because loads of people are getting ripped off, and it sickens me, and makes me quite cross, to be honest, the amount of people that get ripped off because of sharp practices. So if, you've, if you're a septic tank owner, all right, you may not be selling your house yet. You know, you may, you know, maybe 10 years before you sell, but the point is, this video is definitely worth watching okay yesterday i did a live broadcast for people who were buying houses with septic tanks this is the flip side of that so let's say you've got a house right so let's say you've got a house and you've got a septic tank and it's on the market and you get an interested person through the estate agent, and let's say they put an offer in for your house in your house, and you accept that offer. Then what will happen is you'll get a certain process going through the solicitor, and he'll send your solicitor a load of paperwork. All right, and obviously that paperwork will be to, to do with your house and whatnot, but a section of it will be to do with your septic tank. And the solicitor representing the people buying your property will ask you certain questions about your septic tank, okay? And let me give you an indication of the questions that you're gonna get asked. And this is very, very important, right? Because as I said, I'm gonna show you how to save thousands and thousands of pounds now, okay? So the people looking to buy your house, let's say I was buying your house. Let's just turn the tables here. Let's say I was buying your house, right? And if I was, you know, the solicitor representing me would ask you questions like this. They'd ask you, what sewage system you've got? Okay, so you may not have a septic tank. You may have a sewage treatment plant. So just because I use the word septic tank, it's just a, a generic name that people recognize, people understand. But the point is, they'll ask you what sewage system you've got. They'll ask you the they'll ask you the capacity of this of your sewage system. Uh, at this point, many people will rummage through their bureau or their desks, or their drawers and stuff, trying to find septic tank emptying receipts to find out what the capacity of the septic tank is. They will ask you what it's made of so all right so they'll ask you the materials they'll ask you um is it made you know is it made from brick is it made from concrete is it made from fiberglass is it made from plastic all right they'll ask you the condition of your septic tank all right how old is it what is the general state of repair is it in good condition is it in average condition is it in poor condition? Is there, you know, bricks falling out of it? Is it leaking? Does it smell? So they'll ask you all these questions, right? 
they will ask you uh, the condition of it. Oh, yeah, they will ask you the location. Location. Is it in the front garden? Is it in the back garden? Right. And with all the new rules and regulations coming into force on the 1st of January, they will also ask you, is it near a watercourse? Because if it is, then, and these people are doing their homework and they've done their homework, rather, and they know their stuff, then I'm going to show you where all this is leading to, by the way, because these are the people buying your house, firing all these questions at you, right? So once there's a capacity, what's it made for? Oh, yeah. They'll ask you, what kind of maintenance you carry out on your septic tank? So how often do you have it emptied? If it's a sewage treatment plant, how often do you have it serviced? Um, who do you have it serviced by? Is it, is it an approved service engineer? What kind of servicing work does he carry out on it? All right, so how much room have I got left? I've got a few more. So uh, the capacity. Oh, OK. So let's just let's just let's just stay there. I mean, th there's quite a few other questions that I could ask there. But let me just show you what they will ascertain by asking you these questions. OK, so the capacity of it, let's say it's a thousand gallons, right? Now, with all the new building regs and regulations that have come out, septic tanks now have to be of a certain size or capacity. So let's say you've got a four bedroom house, I don't know, a six bedroom house, whatever. If the capacity of your septic tank doesn't legally um, cater for the number of bedrooms that you've got, all right, if I'm buying your house, that's of great importance to me because it will tell me that your, your septic tank isn't man enough, all right? So that's why they'll ask you that question. What kind of sewage system have you got? Well, if it's an electric sewage treatment plant, you've got that matters to me because I'm buying your house because they use like, you know, a grand, 1,500 quid's worth of electricity every year. So that, that matters to me, right? Because I'm buying your house. All right, so maybe I don't know anything about septic tanks or sewage treatment plants, but these questions will help me to understand more about the system that you've got in place. What's your sewage system made of? Is it made from breeze blocks and bricks, right? Ah, oh, here, here, here's, here, here was the other one, the age of it. There's loads more. I, I, I could go on with loads of questions, but you'll see where I'm getting with this in a minute. What is it, what's it made from? So is it made from bricks? Is it made from breeze blocks? Well, that will concern me because I want to carry out an inspection on your septic tank because the mortar, it may need re-rendering. The, the bricks may be coming out. You know, the concrete could be crumbling. Right? The condition of it, the age, the condition, is it five years old? Is it 10 years old? Is it 50 years old? Is it 100 years old? If the older it is, yes, that's a consideration uh, to me because the older it is, mm, it may have developed problems, right? The location of it, is it in the front garden or the back garden? When I move into your property, do I want to put a drive where the septic tank is located? Is it near a watercourse? Does it discharge into a watercourse? So these are, again, if it does, then that's going to present a problem because in six months' time, the laws on septic tanks change, and I'll have to replace the whole system. So... Get maintenance, right? Let me just if you've got an electric sewage treatment plant, UK building rig states that it needs servicing once a year. If you can't show me the receipts and stuff that you've got to show you get it serviced every year, obviously it's going to be in a in a bad state of health. So the point I'm making is right, all these questions uh help people to understand about the sewage system that you've got in place. So let me explain generally what happens nine times out of ten your solicitor will fire all these questions at you and more now you may have never sold your house before you know you may have been there i don't know five years 50 years all right so all this will be new to you right and um oh you'll be you'll, you'll be getting the septic tank emptying receipts and stuff out and giving them to the solicitor but that only answers part of the question is 
how often you maintain it, how often you get it empty. Doesn't answer all the other. So then, you know, you get a, 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 a surveyor, the septic tank inspector surveyor around, right? And he'll have a good look in there. That's going to cost you what, flame and neck, 500 quid, 1,000 quid. And so it becomes a real bone of contention trying to answer these questions. And nine times out of 10, what normally happens is you just normally hand over the septic tank emptying receipts, right? And these questions don't really get asked to sat answered to satisfaction. I know because I moved into a house where I had problems with the septic tank. And the only way I could fix it was to put my own septic tank in. So people are ringing me up all the time because what this amounts to, let me tell you what this amounts to. This amounts to a big problem in the minds of the people buying your property, full stop, right? If I'm buying your property and you can't answer these questions to my satisfaction or instill confidence in me, then I'm gonna get three firms in, they're gonna come round to your house, they're gonna look at your system, and they're gonna give me quotes for putting a new system in. These people who will come round and quote me a new system, they've got an agenda because they do this for a living. They'll come and look at the septic tank at your house and they'll say, man, you know, it's tired, it's worn, and these new rules and regulations are coming into force and uh, you need a new sewage system put in. So they'll give me some quotes ranging from 15 to 20 to 25,000 quid. I'm then going to come back to you, right? And I'm going to say to you, okay, yeah, we'd like to go ahead, please with buying your property, we love your house, we love everything about it, but we've had some quotes to replace your septic tank system. And the quotes that we've had, right, range from 15 to 20,000 pounds. So what we'd like to do, we'd like to meet it in the middle. So we'd like to reduce your house price down by 17,500 pounds because that is the price of a new system, right? Now, you, when you hear, hear, when you get this information or this news, it'll just do your head and you're like, I'm not knocking my house down, 15 or 17,000 pounds, it can go to hell. And that's the reaction, right? That's a normal reaction. If someone's buying my house and then they suddenly said, oh, yeah, we'll buy your house, but by the way, we want to knock it down another 20 grand or whatever uh, to put a new, you're like, no way. But then this is the problem. Every time you, you you could say goodbye to them. But then when the next person comes to buy your house, you're going to go through all this rigmarole and all this process again. And it's just doing people's heads in. So the easy and simple way is, all right, no, I'm, I'm not going to give I'll, I'll give you 15 grand off the house price. Blah, blah, blah. But you still lost 15 grand is 15 grand. All right. So that is exactly what's happening throughout the UK as we speak right now. But I did tell you, didn't I, that I've got some really good news for you, right? And the good news is this. You can prevent all of this. You can prevent all of this if you get yourself one of these. You know what this is? This is called a government compliance form. Government compliance form for septic tanks. All right, so it will save you dropping your house by 10, 15, 20,000 pounds, right? So let me just put this on here. It's a government, government compliance form. For septic, tanks there you go government compliance form for septic tanks it will save you thousands and thousands of pounds because it's a form that answers all those questions right so on this form right so where where did you get this form from? Okay, let me just rewind a minute. Right, just go to septictank.co.uk and you'll see about the septic tank ban at the top left-hand side there, right? Just click that and put your email address in there and you can download as many copies as of this as you want. Then just print them off, right? And on this form, you'll notice that there's certain blanks on it, right? So for example, it starts off, Maintenance notice in accordance with UK building regulations. I acknowledge, so you the, ha you, you the person selling the house. 
I acknowledge that the sewage system I've installed at my property is, and then obviously you'd say what it is, whether it's a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant. Question number two, where is the sewage system located? So you'd fill in there, back garden, front garden, wherever. Question number three, the sewage system has a capacity of X amount of litres or gallons. Find out what that is. Uh, have a look at the septic tank, emptying receipts, fill that in. Question number four, the sewage system is constructed out of, so if it's breeze blocks, if it's bricks, if it's concrete, if it's plastic, if it's fiberglass, whatever it is, put it there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's about 10 questions on there. Just fill in the blanks, right? Then date it and sign it. Put one in your kitchen, lodge one with your solicitor. And so when you come to sell your house, having all these problems, all these questions go away. You won't have to spend a penny. This is free, by the way. I don't want a penny off you. This is free. Let me just show you where to get it from. All right. Where did you get this from? So let me just put it on here for you so you know where to go. All right, let's get my pens here. Okay, so all you need to do, well, you can see it on here, look, septictank.co.uk. That's where you need to go. So go on to this, septictank.co.uk. Right, septic tank .co uk and get yourself a free government compliance form for septic tanks right you fill that in, and then all the problem goes away that's it so that's the good news i wanted to share with you today um you know it really does my head in that people are being charged 10 15 25000 quid you know to reduce the price of the house when all and no one's telling them and if they just get one of these forms fill it in and lodge to the solicitor so this is what happens right you come to sell your house right their solicitor contacts you you give them that your solicitor will hand them that their solicitor will go all right hey a responsible septic tank owner and then he'll give this to the client, his client, the people buying your house, they'll look at it. They'll say, oh, he's got one of these systems in. Oh, it's only this old. Oh, look, he has it serviced down there. Oh, look at that. It's made from this. Then they'll do a little bit of research on the internet. They'll do this, they'll do that. It instills confidence in them. So they won't come back to you and say, I want to reduce your house by 15, 20 grand. So there you go. That's my tip of the day. Get yourself a free, free government compliance form for septic tanks okay so there you go so if that does save you 10 15 20 25 000 quid then my job's done and i'm happy but donations uh, are gratefully received i love a pint of um lager and a peroni i was just trying to think of the name then and i also like a jack daniels with coke so if you're feeling generous and i've saved you thousands of pounds feel free to buy me a pint but in the meantime, go to septictank.co.uk and get yourself a free government compliance form, and that will save you thousands of pounds. So I hope this live broadcast has helped you today. That's why I make them. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch it today, and I'll see you again soon.